Now we are in the fourth and final video of this series. Uh, this is actually my Guru Dakshina, my teacher, my Sanskrit teacher. Because in the end of 2019, our Sanskrit studies group on Ashtanga Hridaya, each student, student received one ritu to describe about the uh, what to wear, what, what to eat, what to do of physical exercise and all the descriptions on classical charitus in Ashtanga Hridaya. And since I was doing Panchakarma, I was just listening the classes. I, uh, I was kind of uh, one extra there and people asked, what is Thiago going to do? And I replied in the WhatsApp group, I'm going to do the AC ritual, the air conditioning ritual. But um, prior to that, we are going to see in this ancient knowledge in an electrical context. Uh, the first topic is going to be, do you still care about it? The second one is the thoughts on the AC ritual. Uh, then we are going to make some extrapolations about uh, not AC but heaters in cold countries and or cold winters and the assembly insights towards uh, global Ayurveda. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's start with the most important question. Do we still care about it? Because look now we live in apartments and even if it's 17, 18 degrees Celsius outside in the winter. We don't feel it. In the room is 25, 26, uh, even if we are not uh, with the heater on. So the main point is that nowadays with electricity and also uh, petrol, we do not expose ourselves anymore so much to the weather. If you are working in the field or if you are a labor worker, in this sense, maybe you are going to feel the impact of the seasons in a more real manner. But people that work in office, usually they are only being exposed to the ritus, the natural ritus, um, 20, 30, 40 percent of the time. Most of the time they are regulating their temperature with AC or with heater. And they are uh, taking shower with water that is hot or... Um, the naturality that we as human beings are being um, living with the nature is almost nothing. Just before we do this recording we were watching a Netflix uh, series uh, Buddha where in this 25th episode Siddhartha went to the uh, forest to live as a sannyasa and there uh, his friend Chana asked but how are you going to live there? how are you going to stand to the cold uh, sleep in the bare uh, ground? So the, in this situation, you have really the importance of classical Ritucharya, where electricity was not available and also petrol was not available. If you want to understand the importance of the Shadurasas in Shadurritus, uh, sorry, in Ayurveda, you can take one year without electricity and without petrol in any form, just with wood. And uh, except in Alaska, <laughs> uh, probably you're not going to face any um, real life problems like Nebraska, Russia, and so on. But the point is that we modern 21 century people don't know really what is to 
endure winter with its coldness or endure summer with its hotness. But we are living in a kind of not natural um, seasons where the body still needs to react, it still needs to adapt, it still needs to be healthy. And in this sense, we need to do a new framework of the shadow rituals for office rituals, people that work from 8 or 9, whatever, to 5 to 6, in a place where there is no sunlight, when the place there is a temperature that doesn't change during the uh, year, mostly, and uh, where the light is not natural also. And this is also a big problem. So, um, do you still care about it? In a social um, background, we don't. We think that living according to the uh, natural rhythm is kind of primitive or uh, uncivilized or this kind of stuff. Look, I'm not saying that we should um, destroy the buildings and just live in the caves. But understand that we lost a lot of our health because we are completely disconnected with the flow of the sun's energy, the moon's energy, and the temperature and so on. We are always putting on the fan. Here in India, even if it's cold, people are putting on the fan, just because they are used to it. In Brazil, it's much of the same, uh, South India. So, thoughts on AC or two. This is my uh, real presentation. <clears throat> in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, in the summer, it's extremely hot. As my Jyotish teacher says, extremely hot. <laughs> and people go, my brother, <laughs> it uh, wake up in the air, air conditioner. And uh, the, all the house is in the air conditioner, temperature. And from the uh, door, the apartment door, to the elevator, to the car, there is f five minutes of no AC. <laughs> run for us, run. And after that, the AC in the um, car is already on. And then in the office is already on. You have more five minutes without the AC. And then five minutes to go to the restaurant. You're in non-AC environment, kind of half an hour or maybe one hour of the day when it's January or February in Rio de Janeiro. So which season this person lives? I can say about my brother because it's my brother, there is no harm in that. He lives an AC ritual. And the, the most important thing is that in the summer, when you're sh we're uh, in this kind of situation that you go out to a very hot temperature and then you freeze out in like, you go from 22 Celsius to 45 Celsius in two minutes. How a body can react to that? So the first thing is that in uh, AC you're to in main in the summer, the clash of temperature makes the vata completely lost. So there is a lot of problems in the throat and also in the ears, in the uh, in rhea, in the face region, because there is a lot of dryness and uh, vata is exposed to cold temperature with dryness and very hot temperature suddenly. So this aspect that the seasons, the temperature changes so abruptly, not in a natural manner, it provokes that a lot. And also during the night, the person is sleeping and is not irritating and it's losing a lot of humidity through breath and it wakes up already dry. People usually will try to eat more um, food that is heavier because they are feeling hungry because the temperature is uh, feeling cold even if in the external weather is not so cold. So the body starts to have a kind of 
metabolic schizophrenia because they it faces two completely different worlds and uh, this bipolarity it starts to uh, question itself what should I do should I bring my temperature up to face the AC or should I bring my temperature down to face the external heat and this process creates a lot of tension in the metabolism in in Brazil mainly from December to February where people uh, go to vacations and they drink a lot of alcohol and this kind of stuff so one important thing during this period this AC or two is to keep drinking small amounts of water, sipping water if you're comfortable to drink in regular temperature room water in the AC is not room water okay, no problem but if you need to take this water a little bit warm it can also be very good for the vata because the main problem in this situation is that the temperature is completely changing uh, in a very quick manner uh, please open the light quickly so, so one time the body is like this the other time is like that and one time is like this and the other time is like that what my retina is going to do with this and wh how you are seeing this it's unstable it's completely unstable and we are not opening all the windows here we are just opening one small amount so you can have this effect clear on you and the point is that in this situation even if this glass is able to change the uh, amount of luminosity that it can uh, allow to go in it doesn't go so quickly so in this situation of AC Ruto we should be sipping water in 30 minutes, in one hour one hour maybe is too much because the body will have a kind of dehydration because of the strong summer outside and the uh, ruksha, the uh, dry weather inside there are much more about this but usually I talk this to people that I do consultations in Brazil because I have seen a lot of health issues mainly related to vata uh, in these situations and uh, their ojas, their uh, uh, viability to their immunity decreases a lot and then there is carnival, there is a lot of problems there there is one point that is the dehydration in the AC or two. The other point is that uh, the person is uh, with its body temperature going up because of the cold weather and most of the time that the person is working or sleeping in the AC. So during this period, if the person goes to do physical exercise in the summer, is not going to be beneficial for itself. Look, <laughs> these are problematic times. So if the person is with its body temperature used to cold because of the AC, it's better that the person do physical exercise in gyms with the AC on. So the body will not have to handle one important point of the day that is it's going to increase the metabolism and it's going to be doing this in a complete different temperature so if the person is comfortable about the air conditioner is not only there because it's working and is also sleeping there the person should do the physical exercise inside AC rooms because if it's not the body will be completely lost and of course the dehydration of doing physical exercise in a place where it's dry because the air conditioner dries the air it's increased and it's beneficial to have some lemon in that water it can be half a lemon for one liter of water so that the body is not being uh, with their joints uh, disturbed if the person already do a bianga uh, for their daily routine, their dinacharya in the summer they should keep doing this because they are facing a dry and uh, cold weather 
not necessarily it has to be a ginger oil or ginger uh, sesame oil it can be some sunflower oil that is not so hot but if the person completely quits the uh, bianga it's going to spoil a lot his joints or her joints and also and there's going to be some back pain about fruits in this condition usually in the summer in Brazil we eat a lot of fruits we have a lot of fruits and they are fresh fruits if the person is living 22 hours per day in AC it, they can eat uh, sour fruits but try to avoid fruits like watermelon or apple fruits that are going to be very shita in nature, in nature and they're going to be cooling in effect and also people should avoid to drink uh, thousands of coconut water because um, in the summer in Brazil we usually uh, drink a lot of coconut water it's better to take that uh, sugarcane juice with some ginger and some uh, lemon this is really good rasayana to face both the conditions and since the agony is high it's going to be good for their uh, digestive system to uh, burn things because when the digestive system is too strong we need to uh, give food that is heavy so it can digest more there can be also a lot of pita problems hashtag <laughs> pita problems during this period because externally is really hot so we should avoid things that are so deeply fried as eating french fries and this kind of stuff every day we can eat things that are uh, once in a week twice a week some things that are fried there is no problem but we can only take fried stuff in a regular manner three four times a week after the summer is finished this hot and humid summer that is related to um, Sharat in the classical texts about the sleep patterns since uh, when it's cold we need to sleep more and when the summer there is more light we need to sleep less one good thing it's not so common to people to do that but it's a good suggestion suggestion people go to sleep very early around 8 p.m and they try to wake up at 4 a.m. so they can do some physical exercises out of the AC but it's still cold the proper time to do physical exercise during the summer for these people that live in AC rooms every time and they are completely unaware of nature is around 5 6 a.m. when it's still not very hot but they can also enjoy nature because people are completely locked in the rooms and uh, in the offices and they are unaware of the cycle of the sun and so these are some highlights on the AC Ritu this can be expanded but uh, this also can be extrapolated to the uh, heater Ritu when people live in uh, kind of um, France upwards, uh, Netherlands and so on when, where the winter it's cold more than six months of the year and the winter is really cold in USA probably this is New York style not Florida Miami and so on. in this kind of places where the cold is really intense and people easily can die of being cold outside people stand a lot of time in the temperature that is high even if it's 20 22 24 degrees celsius comparing to less minus 4 minus 5 minus 10 minus whatever it's completely different this temperature this kind of experience i don't personally have so much uh, experience i have been here and there to very cold places but I I feel I believe that in these places there is a lot of um, dryness in the air also so people is going to face 
uh, climate that is dry and hot and really dry and hot then this will provoke vata not because of the climate uh, changing so much because usually in this situation people don't go out of their homes <laughs> they go at the least possible um, but mainly because um, the air gets really dry along with the uh, hot when it's dry and cold it doesn't uh, feel it's not so easy to evaporate things but when it's dry and hot the water goes out from the skin from the nose from the body more easily <clears throat> so people that live in uh, Scandinavia or Canada Canada and this kind of places Russia they can start to uh, give their impressions on what are the effects on the body about Vata, Pitta and Kappa of being the winter in places where you are not so much exposed to the cold but you are uh, 20 hours a day inside a heater place and finally to end this session the sun is already gone um, assembly insights towards global Ayurveda the main purpose of these videos is to encourage ourselves, everyone, to preserve the principles of um, Ratucharya in the sense that it's really important to understand the effects of seasons in our body in terms of Vata, Pitta and Kappa. But also to um, encourage ourselves to go beyond the classical scheme in the sense that uh, we propose here that they were developed to help people that were living in that time and that place to live according to their uh, ritus and they were without electricity they were without they were not burning petrol and so on so we need to uh, consider all the planets and not just what is and was in India but also to consider that people are nowadays heating up things in the microwave and so on and these things disturbs, change the flow of life inside our bodies so my uh, understanding on uh, AC and this summer in Brazil in Rio de Janeiro started the thought about this series and I would like to know your uh, opinions about the place where you live if you live in Europe, Australia or whatever okay time to finish thanks for watching and if you like this series please subscribe please see other playlists that we are going to um, put available in the um, channel my vata is complete <laughs> Oh no. Thank you very much. Gurur Brahma Gurur Vishnu Gurur Devo Maheshwara Gurur Sakshat Param Brahma Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnam Udachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnam Eva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Yom